Welcome to episode 15 of Witchcraft! In today's episode, we are going to be decorating for winter slash the holidays, we are going to be summoning something, and a few other things. With that being said, let's get right into the video! But first, before I start walking around, I am going to change our wings appropriately to the winter season. There we go. I just think the angel wings look um, more appropriate for winter, so I decided to change them. As you can see, um, one thing that I did is I finished getting rid of all of the fall decorations that are around, like the pumpkins and some few fairy lights that were left over, and then I replaced all of the white carpet in the house with green to give us our little holiday look. I was debating on doing white and blue, but to be honest, that would have made me want to, you know, change the whole color palette of the entire house, and I don't really want to do that and then have to change it back. So I just went with red and green. Normally I don't like red and green together, like, for Christmas, um, because the red and green that's often used is, like, really obnoxious looking to me, um, but thankfully the texture pack makes this, like, darker red and green, so I think this fits. So yeah, anyway, winter decorating. We are going to be doing a few things today, including making a tree outside, as well as a mini one inside for decoration. I don't know if a bunch of you know, I mean, you can probably guess based on the series, but um, I am Wiccan, IRL, but my family and everything celebrates Christmas, so I'm kind of like obligated to celebrate Christmas. Um, so we're gonna be doing a little bit of both traditions to kind of mix everything in, but this is just some general holiday decorating. First things first, um, whenever I logged in, I got this present. It's called Mysterious Gift, and it says, This gift has appeared mysteriously and doesn't seem to want to open. A message is written there. Cannot be opened before December 25th. So I guess some um, Corail Tombstone gave us a present. So I'm going to leave this in here for now. The first thing that we are going to do is we are going to put these green and red pumpkins around. Because I still want pumpkins around our house, but I figured the red and green would kind of like, you know, make it holiday winter-esque. So yeah, we can go ahead and do that right now. Oh, wait, it's almost nighttime. We can go ahead and place a few around. But as you can see, I got rid of the mushroom in the middle of our pond thing here, um, because this is where I want to put the Christmas tree. As you can see, I already put a little skirt down. <laughs> but yeah, this is where we are going to be putting our tree. Don't worry though, as soon as winter and everything is gone, I am most likely going to change it back to the mushroom. Oh, I forgot to get rid of these two fairy lights. Okay, we are going to sleep and then put these pumpkins around. First pumpkin goes here because I know I always have a little jack-o'-lantern or a carved pumpkin right here, so that works. I'm just going to place these around. Hey guys! Oh, bless you. And now time for the green. And now time for some red ones. And there. Alright, pumpkins have been placed. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, you probably saw on this chest here, um, I put this so I would remember, because I know I'd forget, is we're going to make a bunch of kind of Christmassy foods, like a bunch of winter foods, like hot chocolate and maybe a Christmas cake or something like that. So that means we need to travel to the massive Pam's farm, which I have yet to use. I am also going to grab some buckets because I know we are going to need some water slash milk slash anything else we need. All right, time to go. Is this it? Oh, this is it. Okay. All right, I know there's some stuff in here. Oh, this is just all the seeds. Okay. Alrighty, I am going to make a list of the stuff we need, like a little grocery list, and I will get back to you and we will harvest what we need. Okay, it took me like a full Minecraft day, but um, I have all the ingredients that we need for the things that I want to make, so let's get them. Thankfully, I spent all this time on this farm so we can finally use it and that we're guaranteed to have everything, I think. We should have everything because there's like a bunch of substitutes for everything. Um, like if you don't have something, you can substitute it for like a vegan option or whatever. So I think we'll be fine. Okay, first up is spice leaf. Now, oh boy. I think this is it over here. Yes. And I know we need tea leaves too, so I'm gonna grab that. Let me just grab all of this. I don't know how much we're gonna make because I want to make some for Fallon and the dwarf and the new person that we are going to be summoning, so... 
we'll see grab all of these tea leaves and then next step we need some flax which is this over here and then we need cherries and oranges um see i played with pam's harvest craft for a while but i never really got too into the trees so i don't really know what the oranges look like because there's stuff like papayas and grapefruits and apricots so it's hard to tell i don't think it's in this little part yeah those are peaches i think this is it yep oh my god a traveling merchant free leads thank you anyway back to oranges we only have two Okay, and then we need cherries and apples. One? Really? Okay. I know we have a few apples in our chests. I also know we have a few extra cherries in the chest that's up there. Okay. And now I just need to collect a crap ton of water. Because with Pam's Harvest Craft, we can turn one water bucket into eight of these smaller water buckets. As you can see, now from just six water buckets, we have 48 fresh water. Let me grab... The two extra cherries and the couple extra apples we have and we will be on our way the rest of what we need is stuff like dough and stuff so we don't really need to be here anymore i do need to check over here because i can't remember if i planted cocoa stuff i don't think i did no darn oh we have stuff in here too do we have any cocoa powder no we do not Cocoa? Yes, cocoa beans. I'm gonna keep one in here so I can plant it if needed, which I probably will. And I'm going to go milk our cows and then we'll be ready. Thank you for your service. Okay. Oh my god, it's cooking with cherry now. Yes. Okay, the first few things we're gonna make are chocolate bars because we desperately need those for a bunch of the extra stuff that we're gonna make. Actually, Moon, do you want to join us for cooking? You can sit on the counter, I don't care. And I just realized exactly how much cocoa powder slash cocoa beans we need so i am going to oh crap what does jungle wood look like <gasps> we have jungle saplings though okay that's fine okay 42 should be just fine the pond's icing over maybe that means it's winter again in minecraft <gasps> that's perfect okay now that we have our cocoa beans we're going to be making quite a few chocolate bars i mean because these fruits need them and the hot chocolate needs cocoa powder and stuff like that so we needed quite a few so what we need to do is combine cocoa beans with a saucepan i believe we have that yes and i am going to save how many people do i want to give this to four i'm going to save four of the cocoa beans for hot chocolate the rest i'm going to use for chocolate bars okay and with our chocolate bars, we are going to make each of these three fruits. Not this fruit. I need this fruit for something else. But these two fruits, I mean, um, and two chocolate. Now, you might be asking me, Cherry, why on earth are you dipping oranges in chocolate? Um, and that's because one of one of the winter solstice slash yule slash whatever you want to call it um, traditions is decorating oranges. And usually you decorate them with cloves or something like that. But um, since that's not exactly possible with the mod set that I have, um, we are just going to be making chocolate covered oranges. And we are going to be making chocolate covered cherries because, well, it's cherry. I don't have to explain myself. <laughs> I'm very biased. All right, so I can actually do this. And if we just put these two together with, what was it? A saucepan, we can make our chocolate oranges and we can also make our chocolate cherries. And I am just going to stick everything in the fridge as we complete it. I will stick these chocolate bars in here too. Okay, next up on the list is going to be hot chocolate. And first we need to make marshmallows, which requires a saucepan and some sugar. And to make sugar, we can either grab some sugar cane or we can get some agave, question mark, um, or some beetroot or maple stuff or honey. Okay, and then we need our saucepan again. I guess this, this is what we're gonna use for everything. I'm going to make four marshmallows. I'm going to make these cocoa beans into cocoa powder using this grinder and we are going to grab some milk from the fridge and make four and then we are just going to combine all this stuff together with the saucepan again boop and boop and boop yay for hot chocolate all right the next thing we are going to do is we are going to make peppermint although fun fact i am allergic to mint in real life it makes my mouth burn very badly um, but i will be making them for our other guests and to do this we need just some sugar and spice leaf in a saucepan and we'll make 16 of this there we go and while my other friends are having some hot chocolate i'm actually going to make myself some dandelion tea so we are going to go downstairs and we are going to grab a dandelion that I hope I have. We're going to make a few of them. So I'm going to grab all the ones that we have. 
and then we just need some water and the spice leaf and we put this together in a pot there we go eat dandelion tea and the very last thing that we're gonna do because i don't want to bore you guys with cooking all day is we are going to be making some baked ham because i know some people want meat other than just like sweets and stuff um i know sindri will probably want meat um so we're going to make some baked ham i don't know if we have pork or not we might have to go to our farm yeah we gotta go to our farm actually do we even have pigs we don't even have pigs oh wait but we can make tofu okay to make tofu bacon we need a firm tofu maple syrup and soy sauce okay that looks easy now that we have our soybeans we are just going to throw them in the saucepan and then we are going to roll them to make firm tofu and then we are going to make some soy sauce by putting some soybeans into a juicer which i had to go and grab more soybeans for to just do 10 of these and now we just need some maple syrup now we just need to throw it all together into a mixing bowl and here which makes two each and now all we have to do is put some apples with it which i know for a fact we have 20 apples so let me go grab six more okay and then we just need to grab some bakeware and put this together Woo! big tan okay now that we have all of our things together i can go and grab our guests i'll be right back man there we go okay i am practically starving so we are going to give everyone some food the kitties will get some ham let me just see where they both are hello venus here's your ham and then hello aries here's your ham is that going to be your seat valen okay i will give you um here's some peppermint and you probably want dandelion tea too i'll give you some cherries some chocolates there just have all the sweets and you guys are mushrooms so i'm guessing you guys want some dandelion tea as well bless you i will give you a peppermint to clear up that cold and some cherries hello sindri okay you get the rest of my ham not the rest rest but like a bunch of it um i will give you some hot cocoa along with some oranges and a few peppermints merry holiday and i am starving myself so i'm going to get some dandelion tea along with a few cherries and orange all good i'm going to keep this tea and these chocolate cherries in my inventory with us just in case i get hungry again and i will be putting the rest in the fridge mm, i'm gonna save some cherries for whenever we summon our friend and a dandelion tea as well okay Fallon, i hope you finished your food because i sadly have to put you back in the scroll so you don't fight the thing i'm trying to um summon not like fight fight but um you'll see okay the person we are trying to summon is a winter pixie i figured i would summon a winter pixie because you know it's starting to be winter and the holidays and everything i figured i'd just go with the theme don't worry i am not replacing fallon i am just letting a winter pixie you know visit for the winter and as soon as winter's done there will be other plans okay winter pixie they may seem cold and sullen at first glance but they will warm up to anyone who is willing to help the feywild to its harshest most deadly period winter fey tend to be soft-spoken slightly morbid and never choose their words without thinking about them Blah, 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 blah. Winter Fairy. Okay. To summon a Winter Fairy, we of course need a summoning scroll, a Winter Tree Sapling, a Snowball, Ice, and Rotten Flesh. We have at least some of that. We have Rotten Flesh. We have Snowballs. Do we have Ice? Just regular Ice? Yes, we do. A Winter Tree Sapling. I am not sure if we have that. No. But I do know a Biome, so should be good. And then of course we need to make another summoning scroll because I don't want to give away Fallon's. Okay, let's see if I remember this without having to look. A ink and then a feather and paper. Yay! Okay, now we just need to find where that winter tree place was. I believe this was the biome, so we're gonna go here. I probably shouldn't have teleported without all my stuff being out. A winter fairy biome. Why are you here? <laughs> okay, time to cut down one of these trees. And now we have winter tree saplings. I am curious as to what these things are though, so I'm gonna grab them. Ooh. Maybe we can place some of these around so the fairy feels at home. I'm gonna grab some snow as well. Alrighty, let me just replace some of the sunflowers with these little winter flowers. There we go. And now it's time to summon her. Okay, I believe this is everything we need. Boop and boop and boop and boop. <gasps> Yay! What? Conjure a summoning skull for a winter pixie. Hmm, very morbid indeed. Uh, oh, we have to clear our alliance. Okay, so we need to make a mandrake potion real quick. A cast here? What? Oh, thank god. 
And we need a brilliant fey gem. And we also need a glass bottle. There we go, magic potion. Okay, let me just drink this. And now that we put it down. Such inconvenience. Why did you summon me, mortal? This ordeal will most certainly lead to your premature demise. But then maybe we can be friends. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, hello, Winter Fairy. My name is Cherry. Um, accepting this request will bind you to the winter cart. Okay. Well, I guess she's, uh, she's part of our family now. Oh, greetings, mortal. Your arrival is as expected. As protection in the vicinity was severely lacking, I had to take it upon myself to summon souls to protect the base. Sigh. Such waste of time and magic. And now their frozen bodies are collapsing. Either you provide me with more snow, or we can die a horrible death by a hungry zombie horde. Either way, it's fine by me. Um, I mean, yeah. Oh, you make snow golems? You're the best. Hi. Hi. Can I pick you up? Oh no, I don't want you in the house. Can I lead you? Sir, ma'am, they... Uh, yeah, you need to come up here with me. Come on, buddy. Come on, man. Please. No. No. Bro. I'm sorry. Okay, well, I just had to kill a snow golem, so I hope she's not too mad at me. Um, but she said she needed more snow, so does that mean the snowballs? Maybe? Okay, I am just going to summon her right here. Stop, stay, or don't. Excuse me. Um, so, these? <gasps> oh! 1 to 16. Yay! Ah, uh, mortal. You have performed as expected of a non fey being. Pixie pats you on the head. Oh, There, there, you have done well. Oh, she's really nice. Okay, well, um, feel free to summon as many, uh, golems as you want because they're really cute. Goodbye. Maybe she'll make it actually snow instead of the lake just freezing over. Time to clean up the snow that was left behind. And you know what? She can, um, she can come inside for her dandelion tea and whatever she wants whenever she wants to because I'm kind of scared of her. Um, okay, last but not least, the last thing we are going to do is we are going to be making our tree. Now, it's not like a normal Christmas tree, it's just kind of going to be like a spruce tree or like a big pine tree, and we are going to decorate it accordingly, as you will see whenever I get done with it. So, you know the drill? I will transition to whenever I am finished. Okay, tree done. Now to decorate it, we are going to use some fairy lights. We're also going to put out food for any of the wildlife creatures that will be around. Um, just to kind of mix, you know, the like Christmas and the, to kind of twist together the Yule traditions or the winter solstice traditions, however you say it, and the Christmas traditions. However, I will not be using uh, red and green. I'll just be using white. I'm gonna put some lanterns around along with some carpet and some plants. Okay, time to decorate. I am very thankful that this winter fairy spawns snow golems because I don't think it's gonna snow anytime soon. The ponds are icing over though, which is a good sign. All right, I am just going to decorate with all of these red, white, and green plants. And then I'm going to make a tiny little carpet place here just to serve as like a seating area or something like that. Actually, I'll make a couple. I am also gonna place around these fake mushrooms as well as some lanterns. Now time to put down all of these sweets, or at least as much as I can put down. And now for the finishing touch of the lights. I'm going to start right here and just place some down here. Then on this side as well. And now I'm just going to place a few of these single ones around. And there we go. It's kind of messily done, but that's also kind of the point. <laughs> Alright everyone, I think that is just about the amount of time we have today. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like, comment your favorite part, also comment a name for our fellow Winter Pixie, and subscribe if you're new. I will see you all in the next video. Bye!